got no plans, we got nothing to do You tell me you love me, I go start the What up YouTube? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. I was just thinking, it's been a long time since I filmed in here, and it's been a long time since I filmed, period. So I'm super excited to sit here and get ready with you today. What I have for you today is an Ulta haul. My friend Becky and I went to Oklahoma City this weekend and went shopping in honor of her birthday, which was a couple weeks ago. But we always kind of do things a day late and a dollar short. And I think in one of my videos there was a fly flying through, and I think he's back. Shall we name him? Fly Guy? <laughs> Fly Guy is back. But anyways, I thought I got pretty much a full face of makeup in my Ulta haul, and so I thought I would just use everything that I got, and I'll add in where I need to, but yeah, that's the plan. So I'm going to start off with my face. I already have washed and moisturized. I'm just going to prime my face, um, put on some foundation, and just all the norm, right? Just the things I always do. So I'm just going to go ahead and prime my face. I'm going to use something that I haven't used before. I didn't buy this in my haul, but I did get this in a previous haul. It was just a free gift, and it's the Master Prime uh, Primer Base by Maybelline. I'm guessing this is a face primer. Yes, it is. So let's give it a shot. Oh, it feels nice. The consistency of it reminds me of um, Hangover RX by Too Faced. So wouldn't that be cool to have a less expensive dupe? I did get one of those, as you guys probably saw in my Ulta haul, um, my Ulta sale haul. Uh, as you guys, I'm sure, are going to notice that my low buy was temporarily on hiatus, um, and it kind of has been for the last couple weeks, but I'm after this I'm back on it. It's like I have my times where I need to buy backups or I'm shopping someplace that I don't ordinarily shop and that's when I let myself do a little splurging and then I go back to being responsible. Um, I used to go on these shopping trips and come home with like 18 bags and so this time I did show restraint. I did want to say though we went to TJ Maxx and we went to Target and um, Ulta obviously and so I'll have some other hauls for you coming up because I think I got some neat stuff and I think I got some great deals all right this guy Kermit the Frog yeah uh, Miss Piggy left him but Kermit the Frog he loves me he's just gonna stick around forever apparently so what I ordinarily do is just put down an entire face primer then I go into my t-zone with professional it's my holy grail but anyway guys man it's been kind of a tumultuous couple of weeks um, the weather here has been insane for somebody who has fibromyalgia um, it's been like residual effects of the hurricanes we've had tons of rain we've had lots of pressure changes we've had lots of cold fronts um, it's actually going to go down into the 20s tonight which is crazy because that's like December weather in Oklahoma, definitely not October. October is usually like a transitionary month where you have a few cool days, a few warm days kind of mixed in and it doesn't ever seem to get super cold. We sure don't have any chance of snow, but in our panhandle we may have some snow tonight, which is just crazy. Um, but it stayed super warm late into the season. My dad is kind of like, um, a farmer's almanac in person <laughs> and he said well we've got about 10 more days Sherry and then it's gonna be winter and I was like yeah that's kinda how it goes here it's kinda fall and nice and then all of a sudden boom it's it's winter like the next day it's winter <laughs> so that's kinda how it goes here so I finally got a product that I've been wanting for a long time I had a sample of it from a Sephora play box and I used it all up and I was intent on getting some more and it was around my birthday time in June and we went to Sephora they didn't have it yet they weren't carrying that part of the line yet and that's the Clinique pep start eye cream I love this because I have puffiness in the morning and I always have really dark circles and while I used this I really saw a reduction of that and I was super excited about it and I was gonna go buy some more 
and they didn't have any. So this time I got some. They had one tube. I felt bad because Becky wanted some too, but she let me get it because I've been wanting it for such a long time. So I'm going to have to get her some whenever I see some in store. But anyways, I really like this and I'm happy to have it. And I also got a Clinique foundation, which is the Beyond Perfecting. And I've heard people talk about this so much, but I'm so strange, you guys. I don't know why, but it gives me anxiety to go into stores and ask somebody to like color match me. I don't know what my hang up with that is. I don't know why that makes me so uncomfortable. And maybe I felt better because my friend was with me and I didn't, I did it this time. But I am so tired of having a drawer full of foundations that don't match me. And I'm also tired of having to mix them just to have the right color all the time. So I was like, I'm getting color matched this time. And so I'm Alabaster. I went in and looked um, online and gosh, the way they name these are so weird. It's like, there's not a light medium. It goes from fair to medium, but it says medium or it says fair with moderate neutral tones and like all these like 15 different words. Whenever I went and actually chose one out and said, I think this is where we should start. I chose the right one. I'm like, uh, it makes me nervous because I always think I choose the right one and I always end up with one that's just a little bit off. But hopefully this one will work. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on my under eye. It's really cool. It's got like a, um, a little plastic ball, but it pulls up to dispense. And I guess you just put a little bit on the edge there. And you massage it under your eye with this little ball. So that's cool. And I like this because I don't... It didn't say that on the claims, but it feels like it's cooling a little bit and I like that feeling under my eyes so this is neat I feel like I'm using some you know like Jetsons technology or something I was laughing at myself yesterday because we were talking about something called Astro and I was like it made me think of Rastro on the Jetsons and I'm still intent in my lifetime to have one of those machines that you go in in your pajamas half asleep and you ooh, it spurted out whenever I shut it. I hope it doesn't do that regularly because I'll end up using a bunch that I don't need. But anyways, I want one of those machines where you walk in with your pajamas and you're yawning and half asleep and you come out fully dressed, hair done, face done with a steaming cup of coffee in your hand. I want one of those. <laughs> So I'm going to let that set in and just talk to you for a second. Um, I've been really excited about my new camera, my new lighting. I have a new background in my office, which I'm really happy to have because it's so perfect for hauls and things like that. And I've gotten some really good feedback from you guys. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. I, you guys have been telling me that the lighting has been looking great, that everything's been clear and all those things. And so um, I'm glad that it's looking better. It's one of those things that you just kind of have to trial and error and tweak until you figure out what you what you need. But I'm going to show you the other things that I got just real quick. Um, I had a budget that I wasn't going to go over and I did okay except Becky had to shoot me a couple, I think $10, $20, something like that. And it's like, I'm here for your birthday and you're buying me something. She's like, well, you bought me something on my on your birthday. And I'm like, oh, I don't remember what that is. I don't think about things like that ever. Like, I just like to buy people stuff. It makes me happy. So, since I told you that I have been intrigued with Revolution, I'm looking for the palette. I put it away. The um, Opulent palette. I'll link up there the video that I used it in. I really liked it and it intrigued me. It started off with the Emily Noel, the Wants and the Needs palettes. Then that intrigued me to check out some more Revolution. So, I got that one, the Opulent one. And now, when I went into Ulta, I saw this one. And woohoo, you guys. Let me put it up close. Hopefully it'll focus for you. Prettiness. I like the variety, but it's all kind of rosy toned. You guys know how I am. But it's looking like I will love it. Also, I like that it has all these foundational uh, mattes, even like the white shade, because I'm about to run out of the one that I set my, or my uh, eye primer with. So I'm glad that they have that cream shade in there. But this is called the Revolution Pro HD Amplified 35 Palette, and it's Socialite. They had another one. I can't remember what it's called. And we also, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the TJ Maxx, because I may end up using some of this. I got this at TJ Maxx, and this is the Revolution Flawless Matte 
two. And this has um, just a ton of light and mid-tone foundational mattes, and if I can get in here. The only thing I don't love about this is it has one of those little plastic filmy things that has the names on it, and I, I just don't love that. But lots of neutrals, small pans, you know, you don't need that much, but it also has those cream shades in there that I would need, and some cool tones that I don't have in mattes. And I say this every time, but I'll say it again. You guys know that I'm kind of trying to uh, buy things that are unique to my collection. Things that I have on my wish list or have been anxious to try new things. Kind of branching out, you know. Um, I have not abandoned my Rockin' Every Palette series. I have to do the finale of the La Rock, Just show you what I decluttered and what I kept in why. And after I do that, I will go ahead and start with Urban Decay. I, I've i just had a really difficult time at work lately. It hasn't been that my kids have been badly behaved. I have a really wonderful class. It has been that there's just been so many things that have been due. So many meetings, so many you know team meetings and staff meetings and um, IEP meetings and like all these things that make it where even if I stay after school or come to school early, I still don't get everything done and I just stay behind. And so when I get like that, when I get home I'm just completely spent and I just can't wrap my mind around doing anything that requires any rational thought and so I've been having to do a lot of resting and I finally resigned to the fact that I have to rest I have to rest more than most people and I have to allow myself to do that but I saw this pretty rose gold case whenever I was in the Morphe section and I saw Emily Noel review that review these brushes and I know that I love Morphe brushes already so it was just a no-brainer for me but these are what came in it you got a couple blenders a packing brush a flat definer brush a pencil brush and an eyeliner brush and aren't they pretty oh my gosh they're so pretty so I'm going to use these today and I also got a backup for my favorite like outer corner blending brush and this is the um, M507 it looks like this and I love this brush you guys I use it all the time I also use it to smudge like if I really want to smoke out my lower lash line I use that for, for that so I'm going to use these today too but I think I've given my under eye cream long enough to sink in there so I'm going to go in with this I think I'm going to use my Beauty Blender because I just use my Beauty Blender all the time and I don't really want to put it on in in a way that I wouldn't ordinarily do it which is like with a brush. So I'm going to zoom you in a little bit, maybe. <laughs> I hope that's in a good spot when I lean forward to do my eyes. I want you to be able to see me but my pretty ears aren't in there. But anyway, you guys already saw them. But anyways. This is the bottle. It is one fluid ounce, I believe. I'm super blind. I have my glasses right here. These are my backup glasses. You guys have probably never seen me in these, but I love them. They're like those old school kind of coming up into a point there. When I got these, I was trying to get glasses like Alex on Orange is the New Black. It doesn't say. It has to say, doesn't it? How much is in here? Anyways, it's, yeah, it's whatever it is. How about that? But I like it's got, and I used to, this is the funny part about how you evolve. I used to complain about this ginormous stove foot because I was using it to put it, and I was putting it on my hand because I had to mix. But when you're going in with something right to your face, these are kind of cool. So I have no clue how much of this to use. So I'm just going to put some on and this is going to blend perfectly into my skin. The color is going to be perfect. I'm speaking it into life, people. That's what's going to happen. I don't know about that. I feel like I need to put some Fix Plus on my Beauty Blender. It doesn't feel like there's enough moisture, so maybe that's why everything feels kind of draggy. And plus, I, I need to be smarter than this, because usually when I do a new foundation, I start on one side and blend out one side and then go to the next, because you never know how fast it's going to set. But the color does look 
perfect so I'm really happy about that it looks I mean I feel like I'm getting some coverage but you can still see my skin through it and uh, it's kind of evening out my skin tone and I like the finish because it's like kind of dim dimmy matte I guess is what I would call it it's definitely not a dewy foundation but there is a little bit of a a glow I guess just not fully matte not sure but I feel like I want more especially up here where all my discoloration and freckles are I'm kind of going up high underneath my eye too because it's called foundation plus concealer so let's see if it does any good concealing from my under eye I almost feel like it might have been better to um, put it on with a brush and then go behind it with a beauty blender. I don't know if you can hear it, but somebody's blowing up my phone. I need to move it where you don't hear that every time it vibrates. My neck is always the test for me. If I'm putting it down my neck and I can't really see where it is. And the test when she was putting it around my chin line, my neck. She kept saying it's right here. I'm like, where? And I'm like, okay, that's the right one then. If I can't see where it is, that's the right one. And you can't see like a really distinct line of demarcation around your neckline. What you think? Hey, it looks good. I have to look in my faraway mirror. Only thing is I don't really feel like the discoloration is, is covered well. I don't know. And I don't want to just keep going back and back and back. Maybe I need to just use a brush on this area. I'm going to use one of these little paddle brushes. It seems like it's giving me a little more coverage. Yeah, for sure. And then I'll just blend it out a little bit better whenever I um, put on the concealer. Because, yeah, I still need concealer. But I do like it. I like it. I feel like I used a lot though. Leave well enough flow, Cherry. I did buy a backup. Not a backup. I guess it is a backup, but it's not because I'm using it because I ran out of the other one. And this is the um, Revolution Conceal and Define. I really like this. Um, shape tape is still, I still love shape tape, um, but I feel like it's getting too dry for my under eyes now. Like it's just too dry. And this one is supposed to be like a dupe, I think, for it. But for me, it's a lot more moisturizing or a lot more emollient than Shape Tape is. And I just like to tap this in with my little baby beauty blender. But yeah, I'm kind of giving a tutorial, huh? I always forget whenever I'm doing videos that especially if I say it's a chit chat get ready with me that I just I don't have to tell you every step I just need to do it but since this is also a Ulta haul I kind of feel like I want to tell you why I bought these products why I think they're good or why I was intrigued to buy them I'm gonna set it with Laura Mercy a Secret Brightening Powder.
my east to my west When you see me at my worst Try to make me feel my best This love we just can't deny You know all the ways So next week is a two day week for me I have um, my regular class day and then I have parent teacher conferences from 3.30 to 6.30 so that's a super super duper I still haven't found a, a word to uh, put in place of super as an extraordinarily long day how about that extraordinarily that's an interesting word it's an extraordinarily long day and um, I have to do it two nights in a row Tuesday and Monday and Tuesday so they make us earn our breaks so I'll just put it that way since I'm kind of on a clinic kick I didn't buy this at Ulta this time but I did buy it in, on the Ulta sale and this is the clinic um, blended face powder so I'm gonna give this one a try today kind of on a clinic exploration this looks kind of dark I don't know I got the shade um, transparency. I don't know. We'll see. If I put it on my chin, it looks super dark, extraordinarily dark. Then I will stop. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Mm, it looks kind of dark. Maybe I need to save this for my tanner months. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the rest of my face because it needs to be at least uniform across my skin, not just on my forehead. But I am so looking forward to a few days off. I really, really need it. And I know you guys probably get sick to death of listening to me talk about my health, but you know, when you have an illness, it just one of those things that just you know invade your life whether you want it to or not and so with all the weather changes I just was not feeling well and so I was basically going to school getting up early getting to school going through my school day and coming home and going straight to bed I was having like terrible spasming in my tailbone and it was making it so sore whenever I'm sore in that area it makes me kind of walk in a bent over, like slightly uh, tilted forward way. And so what happens from that point is that my legs get sore because I'm holding my body in such a weird way. And so it's just like one thing impacts the other thing, impacts the other thing. And, and then I just overall feel crappy. And whenever I'm having that kind of, I call it a flare, when I'm having that kind of situation, I always um, am extremely fatigued. I think just coping with the pain just wears my body out and so I just haven't had much time to film luckily I had um, I had a lot of stuff filmed like I always like <laughs> bolt film all in one day like today I'll be doing two hauls after this but yeah I'm excited about showing you guys what I got at TJ Maxx it's been a long time since I've been there and this is the first time they ever had any actual makeup that I wanted, so that was kind of exciting. Um, also have another really exciting haul that's coming up for you. Um, you probably won't be surprised <laughs> because so many people from my little wonderful family on YouTube have done the same, but I will be um, announcing an affiliation, my very first affiliation with a brand and it was super exciting because that's one of my goals is to work with some companies that I admire and respect and um, I've been very choosy with who I've said yes to and who I've said no to. I've said no to a lot of people because um, unfortunately whenever you're a very small YouTuber they expect you to get so excited whenever they approach you to sponsor you or to offer you product to review for free um, or they want you to pay for it they think you're going to be so excited that you're going to pay for it and my opinion on that is you want me to pay for a product that you want me to review and advertise for free mm, no thank you <laughs> I, I'll pass on that but um, the company that I've become affiliated with is wonderful I love the owner I love what they're about um, I 
I knew immediately in my spirit that it was the right thing to do. And so all the info, if you can't wait for the video, all the info is down in my info box if you're interested to go check it out. But I will be doing a haul and showing you some of the fantastic products that are available to you. Um, I will have a code for you and just I'm super excited about it. So I'm filming that today. That may even go up before this. I probably will put it up before this because it's the priority for me right now. But that's it for now. These lights are making me very, very hot. And so I'm sorry I'm going to have to have my fan on. Either that or we're going to have a melty face. But anyway, I'm super excited about the affiliation and I'm super excited about sharing the products with you. And if you've seen them already, I hope you were intrigued to go get some because I'm all about this company and I'm all about the owner. I just feel like this opportunity has been a super big blessing to me and I'm very thankful for it. And um, I'm excited that it will offer you a discount and the opportunity to get some really great products as well. So be on the lookout for that or if I've already posted it, I'll link it for you. <laughs> okay, we got to get rid of the foundation lips here. That's something that just super sicks me out. Okay, so my phone has also been the bane of my existence this week. It flipped smooth out. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I got a virus. I don't know. But what happened is it was making all my programs crash. So one after the other, after the other, after the other, um, these, this app has stopped working or this app had suddenly stopped. You know that stupid mean. It's like the equivalent to the blue screen of death on a computer. And it wouldn't stop. I couldn't get into anything. Everything kept crashing. It was it was crazy. People weren't getting my messages, so I had to do a, f a factory reset. So three years of inputting memos and idea lists and passwords that are saved and all these things gone. All my contacts gone. All my apps gone. Everything. It wouldn't even let me back it up. I attempted to back it up and since I have an Android, I do have the Google backup, but there's only so much space and so it only backed up so much before it was full and it wouldn't back up anymore and I was trying to do this smart something backup thing before I did the reset and it did save some things but it was mostly contacts and that's it so I had to add everybody back up and just anyway it was just such a mess um, and if we're going to go ahead and talk about how technology and I have not gotten along and how I somehow managed to mess things up most times I spilled a cup of coffee on my laptop and I completely ruined the touch pad on it. So I, I know better, I know better, I know better, but you know that deep feeling of regret that you have when you do something stupid like that and you ruin something that you worked so hard to get? Yeah, that's how I feel about it. And the good news is it works with an exterior mouse and I ordered a um, I ordered a wireless mouse and it won't be too much of a pain but I'm so accustomed to using that touchpad that I keep reaching for it and it doesn't work anymore but I didn't lose the footage of these two very long videos that were in the process of being edited on that the screen doesn't have any ill effects so far it seems like the keyboards working fine and hopefully it will continue to so if the fatality was the touchpad, we're just going to have to say RIP to the touchpad and keep on going. But I probably just need to stay away from my beautiful camera that I'm looking into right now. I probably need to just not touch it today if I'm smart. So you guys, I also have probably posted my Ulta sale haul before this one and I have tried so hard to stay out of it because I didn't want to lose things and misplace things and so I haven't used much of them but I did get one of these Anastasia uh, blush trios at the Ulta sale and this one's called uh, Pink Passion you should know but I like to mix these two and they're super pretty and pigmented you have to be a little bit careful with them because you can go overboard real quick but they're pretty Yes. You guys know I am just so obsessed with pink makeup that I just can't get over myself. You guys probably think, do you ever wear anything that is peach or... Yeah, I do. 
I like I like um, NARS Orgasm blush a lot and it's super peachy. But I like the mix of those. I like that blushed cocktail. But I'm excited that I am finally going to post these hauls because now I can start using these. It's like a anticlimactic thing if I show them all to you before I show you the haul. I don't know if my rationale for the way that I do things <laughs> makes any sense to anybody but me, but it's whatever. In the Ulta sale, I also got a new highlighter, and this is an Ofra highlighter in the shade Pillow Talk, and it's pink. Oh my gosh, I've used it once. It's so pretty. So that's what we're going to go in with. That is one thing that's so cool about my new lights, you guys. You can see my highlighter. I go back and look at my old videos and you cannot even see that I have highlighter on. There's no glow. I mean, you're probably thinking, goodness, she doesn't have any good highlighters because they even the Omrezy one didn't show and that shows, you know, in a big, super big way. But this is so pretty. I like their new packaging. What do you guys think? Nice white compact with a little a new emblem a new logo I think it's super nice because if you I don't know if I have Rodeo drive over here or not I'll have to look but it's just real basic and kind of cheap feeling I guess is the best way to describe it I like this a lot but it's pink and sparkly, so how would I not, you guys? How would I not? Okay, I am going to go off camera to do my eyebrows because it takes forever and you guys have seen me do them a bunch. And if you need a tutorial, then I have an eyebrow, eyebrows 101 and I also have an updated eyebrow routine. So I'll link those up there for you. You can go check them out. But I'll be back with my eyebrows on. All right, so my battery died. Yay. <laughs> I don't think you guys really understand what a pain in the tush it is to film. Like things just don't cooperate. They just don't and it's frustrating. But anyways, I don't even know what I was talking about. Maybe Morphe brushes, but I really like them. Lately I've been wanting to, instead of putting on with it initially with a ginormous fluffy brush, I've been liking to place it and then go in with a big fluffy brush to really blow it out. So that way I have precise placement, but then I can really blend it out. You guys know I'm like obsessive about really blown out and diffused color. I think that's the prettiest. <laughs> I know some people do really kind of, um, not really like harsh lines, but very defined lines, and that looks really good on them. That's what's so cool about makeup, right, is everybody kind of has their own interpretation of what they think is pretty and what they think is neat looking. So yeah. I don't know how I feel about my under eyes today, you guys. I'm having trouble. Um, with crepiness in a big way. I've got to figure out something else. A lot of people um, don't set. All right, so I made a little adjustment. I want to make sure I wasn't going out of frame. I couldn't find the hair that was in my eye. And so, yeah, we'll just go from there, okay? <laughs> you guys know I'm all over the place, but I was just saying that I don't think people understand how much really goes into filming. It's just so time consuming. There's just so much to be considered. So, uh, let's see here. I think I'm having a hard time deciding which one I'm going to go into because I can kind of go a pinky direction, I can go a purple direction. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go into this kind of pinky rosy color and just maybe use this to define the outer corner a little bit and kind of deepen it a little. And I'm using the, ooh -hoo, that's so pretty. I'm using the other fluffy blender. 
I'm only going to go about halfway in. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. Mmm, that's pretty, you guys. See, I am loving these Revolution palettes. I know that they've gotten some hate too, and maybe they've improved. I don't know, but I, you know, I guess some people don't like the fact that you have to keep going in. I like the fact that that you have time to build it up. And the reason that that's even, you know, that's a really good thing also is because you can have a light wash of color or you can really in build it up and intensify it. And I like that because some colors, some formulas are so pigmented that it's like, dang, you can't, you just can't. I, now I think I put it down too far. Perfectionism is exhausting. Just saying. Alright, I'm going to take that other brush that I was using for the first color, blend that out. I don't really feel like going crazy today. I think like I'm getting close to being done with this. I'm just going to put a really pretty shimmer on my lid and probably call it a day. Except for the lower lash line, of course. So I'm going to make sure that's nice and blended. Ooh, those are so pretty. Those are super pretty. Those are extraordinarily pretty. You guys, no one has given me any suggestions for words to put in place of super. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that, but I am gonna go and do my under eye. I'm gonna use that um, 507. I'm going to start with the color that I just put in my outer corner. I'm going to put that slightly close to the lash line. Ooh, I just went right on my waterline with that. I'm going to look like... I don't know what I'm going to look like. <laughs> oh, that is such a pretty color. I'm so glad I got this. Yes. I feel like I need to put something darker on that. I, gosh, I just, I can't just leave well enough alone, you guys. Um, we do have a little bit of kick up. I don't know how, and I think I dug my fingernail into one of these. There is a little bit of kick up. I don't mind it. I blow it off. Literally blow it off and then go on about my business. I'm going to go into, I can't decide between this one or this one. I, I think this one's going to go better. I'm going to use that on my lower lash line. I'm going to use that definer brush, even though I'm always saying about how I hate those, I'm going to use it on the darker color and then I'll go back in with that one that I just did. because so I want some darkness up around my lash line. So I'm just going to stamp it right up there. I always feel so like straight, like I need a rounded, I need a rounded, something rounded to go where it's rounded instead of flat, but it's doing the trick, right? It's a little rough up around that area, like that will make me blink and my eyes water with the quickness. back with this and after I do that I'm gonna get that first color and blend this out even more 
I'm going to use that brush that I used in that initial rosy color and I'm going to go underneath it I don't know I've been like so weird about my lower lash line I used to barely give it any attention I did everything up top and I didn't do anything I just like put a line there and blended it and I just lately have been wanting to try different combinations and I like to pull it down a little bit which is weird because I used to hate that it's so funny how your taste change I like that now I need to go in with that same brush that first one the M507 and just put a little bit of that darker color right here on the outer edge and then I'm stopping except for the shimmer on my lid there is a beautiful gold color in here and I don't think I'm going to be able to stay out of it even though there's some pinks that are also really calling my name I don't think I'm going to be able to stay out of this gold one maybe I'll use a pink one in the middle and put the gold on the inner that would be pretty and then I'm going to blend it with this guy it still has some of that rosy pink on there So that gives a little bit of depth right on the outer edge and that works I am going to add a little bit more of that pink though to blend it better I like this color a lot it would be pretty just by itself and then as a final step blend it all when you don't know what to do next blend some more Oh, I like it. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I'm looking at this one. This is kind of a gold and a pink combined. Pretty. But this is that super gorgeous color. Super gorgeous gold. Look at that. Uh, I don't want to put this one because it's just going to make the whole thing look uniform. And I really just... I've really just loved recently having um, something really bright on my lid where it makes my eyelid look bigger. I like that. Okay, so I used every brush except the pencil brush and I'm just not going to. I think I'm going to use my finger and my MAC um, 242 for this. I'm going to start with the, I'm going to go into this gold. I can't resist it. Oh, <laughs> it's pretty. Oh, that's so pretty, you guys. I'm just gonna do the other eye and then I'm gonna go in with my finger to intensify it. Alright. Come through, baby. Ah. Uh. Just like that. Come on through, pretty gold. Mm. <laughs> I love it. And back in with one of these that I blended with. I probably need to use this one. It has more product on it. Go back in a little just to make sure I didn't cover up my 
depth on my crease there. Pretty. And another final blend and I'm going to put it in our corner highlight and I'm going to leave it at that. That's pretty and fall and rosy and pinky and golden goodness. <laughs> All of those things. Let's see about a, ooh, is that my inner corner highlight? I think it is. Woo, that's pretty. Hey, I'll use that pencil brush. Then I will have used all of them except the eyeliner brush, which I just don't, I don't think I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be messing with it. Because I don't really like those eyeliner brushes. I just can't, I can't get enough control with them. They, I just can't. They don't work well for me. That's pretty. I like this palette. It's another one of those palettes where you could go 400 different directions. This would be a good one for like one palette, five looks or something like that. Or three looks. I've been thinking about Vlogmas. If you guys aren't familiar, I don't think that's showing up at all. That brush isn't doing me any favors. I'm going to go in with my Makeup Geek small crease brush to see if I can get a little bit of more, a little bit more, yes, get a little more impact. But anyways, if you guys aren't familiar, Vlogmas is like something that people do where they post every day in December. And last year, my friend Becky got me a, I'm going to stop there. My friend Becky got me a NYX Lippy Advent Calendar, and so I tried it on every day, and that was so much fun. I ended up with some crazy looking ones, and I left them on all except the black one. I just couldn't go to school with black lipstick. Like, I didn't even want to deal with what kind of looks I was going to get from those people, but um, a little mini review. I love the brushes. I knew I would. It was only $18 for all these brushes, so super happy with that, and I love the little case. It would be perfect for carrying your brushes for travel because there's a lot of room, but it's still really compact. I like that a lot. Okay, I did get some, and this is out of my Target haul. Um, I have never gotten like actual Wispies, not Demi Wispies, just actually, actually Wispies, actual, Wispies actually, actual Wispies from Ardell, and I wanted to try them. And I also needed a replacement for my Kiss Lash Adhesive, Strip Lash, Lash Adhesive. But this is a new one and it says with biotin and blueberry. I don't know what the blueberry is for, but the biotin is something that is healthy for your hair. I take it in vitamin form and I've been looking for a biotin spray. And um, Jen Gerard, one of the ladies that I'm uh, becoming friends with, said that there was one from, I think it's a big sexy hair company, but it's a long sexy hair or something. It's a biotin spray that she's been using. I'm going to try to find that. But anyway, so maybe this makes your eyelashes grow. We shall see. But I'm going to go off the camera to put on liner lashes and all that jazz. And so, just wanted to tell you about these. I do want to open this and smell it and see if it smells like blueberries though. Nope, it smells like eyelash glue. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back with the lashes. I got a little happy with the eyeliner today. I used the um, Superhero by It Cosmetics. I really like that. I got that on sale recently. But anyways, here's an up close and personal. I think it's really pretty and warm. Um, I do like the wispy lashes. They're super long, but they don't cover up. There's a little white thing on the end here. Okay, did I get glue on there or what? Those are the little things that bug the crap out of me. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, I like them. They're super long, but they don't block all of the eyeshadow. Nor do they block the uh, eyeliner happiness. But either way, I like the way that the eye look turned out. I do really like the palette. I think that it 
works very well. Pigmented, blendable, buildable, super pretty. Very happy with it and I think it'll be a fun palette to play with, to come up with lots of different looks from it. So, for my lippy I want something warm that's going to match this and I got a lot of dose of colors with the Ulta sale. So today I'm going to use the Moon Days color and um, Hush Hush by Buxom for my lip liner. Hmm, what do you think? I think it looks really good with this. Pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go put on some clothes other than my Harley shirt. <laughs> I have found that when I try to do makeup with my clothes that I'm going to wear on, I mess them all up with powders and all kinds of things. So I'm going to go fix my hair or try to do something with this mess of hair and um, get dressed and I will be back with you. Alright guys, so tame the hair. Got everything set. I forgot to do that on camera. So I just used the, let me see what it's called real quick. I was on a Revolution kick, so I used the Revolution Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray. So that's what I used to set my makeup. So that's it for me, you guys. That's what I got for using this stuff from my Ulta haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I have said recently that I really like it when people kind of review or show me what they got and how they used it and if they liked it. So um, I love the brushes. I love the palette. The foundation looks pretty good, don't you think? I think the color matches well and I like the coverage and I think I think it's pretty. I really do. Um, there's like a storm brewing outside. I hear the wind blowing big time and I can see some droplets on my window. So, so here we go again. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it so much. I hope you enjoyed your time here. I guess that's it for me though. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, take care and God bless. Bye guys. Um, I did wanted to say I did wanted to say though <laughs> I'm gonna finish up with pri primer spray by or primer water by photo I'm gonna try this I'm going to put this other mirror that I have somewhere nearby and see if I can look at myself in that. I'll be looking over here instead of leaning over here, but uh, you guys, please don't get sick of me. I'm just trying to make all this work for myself, you see. All right. Now I'm going to be looking over there instead of over there. Ah. It's whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever. Let it go, Sherry. Okay. <laughs> and I, I'm so accustomed to doing it. Uh, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't watch me. Don't think it. Don't, I'm, not, I'm crazy. Um, I guess if, if the the fatality was <laughs> the touch pad. VI. VI. <laughs> I've got a hair in my eye. See, Phil means a pain in the butt. You guys know I love you. Can't find it now. Come on.
plans we got nothing to do you tell me 